Well, guys, it seems that uh, Dr. Tony Phillips and the guys out at NASA got it wrong again. And uh, after reporting that uh, Comet Ison had disintegrated, they're now saying we have to cancel the eulogy and that it's actually survived. Now, this is because Tony and his mates refused to look at the correct model of this object and this particular object is actually quite different than normal comets it's even coming on in a completely different orbital path than most comets you know um, it is not a normal object that we see or they have seen come into um, you know our solar system while we have existed on the physical plane in this current consciousness so this is a huge um, sign when we see this object flying past the sun. Perihelion just happens to be on the day after Thanksgiving and Hanukkah, the Festival of Lights, lands on the same day. And this, isn't, um, this hasn't happened since 1888. And now it's happening again, just at this time. And scientists are saying that this won't happen again for another 70,000 years because, you know, Thanksgiving falls on the fourth Thursday of every November and Hanukkah falls on another certain time of that month. And so because of that, eventually they synchronize together and it happens to be that they've synchronized on the 27th. And they won't do it again for 70,000 years, okay? And then we've got Comet Ison going around the sun, surviving perihelion. You can still see it. Here you go, if you go to Artis. So, yeah. And uh, now we've got to go through Ison's tail. So things are about to get really active up there, I reckon. I think we should really start paying attention to what's going on above us. We're going to start see a, seeing a lot more really unusual atmospheric events. And the other very interesting thing about this Hanukkah and Thanksgiving falling on the same um, you know, date since 1888, the first thing is that when you look at Thanksgiving, and where the roots of Thanksgiving comes from. It's actually, there's quite a few different stories to it. And the common theme seems to be harvest. I find that interesting when Saturn has a sickle. Okay, and there's lots of talk of um, wheat and weeds. And, you know, it, it's, this theme seems to continue. And so we've got Thanksgiving and then we've got Hanukkah, which is almost celebrating the light of the creator that is manifest through the sun into our hearts and minds, our heart and consciousness, our connection, um, the vortexes of our third eye and heart, connection to um, Shin, which is the creator, uh, that's signified by the dreidel that they use in the Festival of Lights, Hanukkah. But most people are only aware of the fluff that's on top. You know, most of these um, people that practice this religion and this game don't understand the layers underneath it. So it's very interesting that this is happening in 1888. And oh, when you look at 1888, well, that happens to be the year of the three emperors, apparently. Um, that's one of the things that 1888 is known for. It's quite a significant year, but this is what really, uh, you know, basically caught my eye was that there was a lot of movement with the bloodlines in 1888. And it seems that there was a succession of three royal bloodlines very quickly. And, you know, this doesn't happen a lot. So this was very notable. And it was known also as the year of the three cases. Okay, so I'll link all this underneath anyway. But so anyway, I love all this synchronicity and this interesting information and how, you know, 
<sighs> Deary me. The guys at space.com have not yet updated their information about ISON. You know, really, come on, guys. You are the mouthpiece for NASA. Uh, you know, space weather, at least I give you credit, Tony. You've, you know, given us an update. So time to get your ass in gear, spaceweather.com or space.com. Um, Ison has survived perihelion and continues to kick ass. And none of this bullshit of this fragmentation and, oh, my God, it's not as big and the whole thing. It's fully what it should be doing. It's doing and it's continuing to uh, create a cause and effect up there cosmically. You know, there are influences uh, being caused to the sun as well as us and everything else, the moon um, and all the other planets that come into contact with Ison. So we will continue to see that all play out too. All right, guys, everything will be linked underneath. And as always, peace out.